it came as a surprise to me how many people do not know how to hook up a trailer on the back of your truck. So what I decided is that today I'm going to show you guys how to hook up a trailer, whether it's a flatbed or a stock trailer, to the fifth wheel on the back of your truck. Okay, so I just backed under the trailer. This is the flatbed. First thing we've got to do, shut the tailgate. Second thing we have to do is lower the trailer down with the jack onto the fifth wheel. Once you lower it enough, the jack will start to come off the ground. So now I've got that pretty well raised. Raised as much as I can. This up. Next thing you got to do is make sure that the jack is raised the rest of the way and this is extremely important because the jack itself cannot raise raise up the foot to the point where it won't hit the ground. So what you're want, going to want to do is to pull out on this handle here and it'll drop to the ground and then from here just pull up on it and there lock the handle into place. So now we don't have to worry about the jack hitting the ground. Now the next thing you got to do is in the back of the truck. So you're going to have to have somebody hop up in. It's usually the younger guy or if you're uh, an older guy you got to climb up in there too. But usually it's the youngest person who's with you is the person who has to climb up in. So we have to hook this up. Now what this does is it controls the brakes from the cab inside the truck and it controls the light and turns the lights and turn signals. So usually it plugs in right here. These come in different shapes and sizes, so they vary by truck and trailer. You always want to make sure that you have the right one when, before you go on, go to hook up. So what I'm going to do is just lift up on this, uh, stick her in there, make sure she's locked in. Now the next thing we're going to do. I'm gonna hop up in. You always want to make sure that you lock on the trailer itself to the fifth wheel. And here, what I'm gonna do is just kick it into place. You gotta turn this handle to lock it. And there she's locked. So now, in theory, the trailer should not should not roll away. These chains here serve as kind of like a support just in case that system fails. And in the newer trucks, on the fifth wheel, there are actually links that come out of the truck itself to hook, to hook onto. I don't really like this style because, let's say, the pin that holds in the fifth wheel to the truck comes, comes out or breaks or snaps or something. Then these chains will do absolutely nothing to keep the trailer from flipping, flipping backwards and rolling away. So the next thing you want to do is hook up the actual brake controller itself. So here we have it hooked up onto the chain. What you can do is unhook it, and then, I'm not gonna do this right now, but um, you can unhook it and find a place on the truck that if this whole system fails, let's say the pin underneath the fifth wheel comes out, then this will catch, and it will pull out a pin here, like I just did. And what that does is it relays back to the brake controller up here. And what this does is when that pin pulls out, the trailer will automatically start locking its brakes. And this is a safety system to make sure that you don't have any rollaway trailers because this would be, without something like this in place, trailers could be very, very dangerous. Uh, if they come loose, 
they are they are very dangerous if they come loose but this is kind of a preventative you could say because you want to minimize how long a trail a trailer will roll if it does get loose so this is what this is designed to do so if you've got this hooked to a safe place on the truck you should be fine and good to go that's really all there is to it I've heard a couple excuses from people saying they don't know how to hook up a trailer when their f job title fully describes that they should know how to do so but uh, it's very important to know how to do this because you never know when you're going to be hooking up a trailer. So uh, I'll see you next time, guys.